Hello everyone, Marcus Thal here. It's been a long time since I posted a video now, hasn't it? Wow, June. Roughly three months ago. Yeah, I'd like to say there'll be something else coming right about now, but I'm finding the probability of that right now kind of low, unfortunately. So what's going on? What's up with the whole hiatus? To be frank, life happened. I shared what's been going on in detail in a blog post about a month ago, so it's about time I actually share it with you in a place that most of you will actually see it. To put it simply, I'm just not in a situation right now where I can produce videos of the kinds I used to on a regular basis. It's not entirely out of a lack of time, mind you, so much as it is a lack of motivation, inspiration, quite frankly, information. The last video I was working on made me realize exactly how little I can actually offer past what I've currently really given at this point in time, outside of really highlighting the areas where we need to know more information. After a point, that gets old, and I'm not particularly in the mood to produce a video that isn't going to be of much benefit to anybody and isn't really going to interest me in the first place. Instead, right now I'm kind of prioritizing the things in my life that will be moving me forward towards my goals in the immediate future. My job is definitely one of those things, but well, outside of that I've spent most of this month working on a Miku Miku Dance Edoge as a pet project. I'd initially planned on releasing that demo to the community, but after considering the sentiments of the users of the Miku Miku Dance platform, as well as the fact that most models specifically decry the uses and stuff such as Edoge, I've elected to more or less skip out on releasing that, apart from maybe releasing a light non-H version of it towards the end of the month. The rest of my year will consist of me trying to focus on college if I can actually manage to get in anytime soon, as well as focusing on a short RPG I'm working on for the Oculus Rift. I'm still doing investigations on different methodologies and systems for the development of VR controls right now, but I'm finding that most of the solutions that I'm finding will require mostly research, development, and testing. Three things which I'm financially unequipped to engage in at this point in time. I won't be in a position to really start doing any hardcore testing till another year or so once I get a 3D printer, scanner, and more general engineering equipment and knowledge. In terms of what I'm pursuing from a research perspective, I really want to see how far I can push EEG technology. The Emotive Epoch has demonstrated the ability to identify a wide variety of mental inputs using cognitive data. You can move a cube up, down, left, right, rotate it across almost any axis, and even make it appear or disappear. Up to four of those can supposedly be used at a moment in time, so I'm curious as to what would happen if we were to use more dedicated hardware and improve upon such technology using better technology that has come about as a result of the improvements in the mobile hardware space. Apart from that, I'm actually a little bit curious on whether or not we can expand upon the ideas of sensory substitution to make it so that overwhelming our body sensory data can make it so input data can be reinterpreted as something it isn't. As an example, if I moved my pinky up and equated that to virtually moving my leg up, would the immersion of touch, sound, and vision and equilibrioception be enough to convince my body that it was actually just moving its leg instead of moving its pinky. But alas, that's all kind of stuff that's going to be towards the distant future. I'd apologize really for the lack of videos, especially to those of you that have been coming in rather recently. I really do appreciate everyone that's come by and I still cannot believe that I have almost a million views on this channel and over 7,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you enough and Really, I actually owe a lot of you guys in terms of the current decisions I'm making. This past year has been pretty rough on me. It's my first year outside of high school, and I've basically been a neat for the majority of that time period. And really, it's taught me a lot of things, and I genuinely believe that if it hadn't been for the decisions that I made at the time of, uh, well, more or less coming out of school, which you guys genuinely had a huge influence upon, I don't think I'd be where I am today, and I think I'd be going on a course of actions that would have probably put me in a very, let's just say, unfavorable position in going forward into the future. So yeah, guys, I can't exactly promise that I'm going to be able to produce videos as regularly as I used to. However, I might be releasing videos of a different nature than normal in the near future just to kind of help me, well, document some of the things I'm working on. 
that RPG is going to be a big project and it's going to take a while, short as it may be. So I want to see if I can share any of the information and steps I'm working towards in that process in order to kind of create a bit more of a dialogue amongst all of the R users in regards to just the development of a certain project. You guys can have some small inputs on here, things here and there. Just know that this is really meant to be a testing of a control system I'm working on using an Xbox 360 controller. Being that it's going to be the premier control system for the Oculus Rift when it comes out, I figured that I might as well get something out with it just to see what we can do in terms of immersion with what we have right now. So there it is everybody. I appreciate that you've all been patient with my channel even though there's been so little content as of late. However, I do genuinely intend to release things in the near future whenever I have the opportunity. I just can't promise that they'll be as polished or cleaned up as I usually want to make things. But then again, I've never really been able to keep up with that kind of stuff in the past anyway now, have I? Well then everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. Let's hope I can actually dish out something else in the near future without having another three months pass by. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Marcus Stahl, logging out.